Greetings everyone, it is me, Gigalim, and welcome back to Metroid Zero Mission. In the last part, we landed on planet Zebus and already started our hunt for, well, items and uh, the source of the problem. In this part, well, before we go and make progress, because uh, the Chosen's told us to, we can grab an E-Tank without the need of another upgrade later down the road. <clears throat> and if I remember where that uh, upgrade is, it's all the way down here. So, now, one thing I wanted to talk about in the last part, but didn't really get to talk about much, is the fact that, uh, first let me check our stats, uh, in case, excuse me, we have at least, like, four of the E-Tanks. Uh, well, first, let me mark this save room as well, uh, visited. Not gonna save just yet in here because, uh, yeah. Now, you can revisit any old, uh, uh, Chozo statue and they can, uh, heal you up. However, over here, oop, let's not, uh, get jostled by, uh, by these enemies. Let's reveal the location of this E-Tank and we can actually get this uh, as soon as we master uh, bomb jumping. Just rhythm uh, just do it rhythmically. And there you go. You don't need you, you don't even need uh, the high jump boot uh, boots for this one. Yeah. I apologize if I'm, uh, if I'm uh, a little bit, uh, <clears throat> messy with my, uh, English here and there. It is pretty late as I'm recording this. I barely find time to record these games, uh, nowadays, but, uh, we can indeed go down here, and if my map is correct, this leads to Kraid. We can go to Kraid. But I don't think we can do much in Kraid. Like, uh... Like, uh... I think, uh, we wouldn't get very far in Kraid. So, yeah. I have not tested a run where I go to Kraid first instead of no, uh, Norfair. I want to say no fair. I don't... Okay, I, know, I think I know why I keep wanting to say, uh, no fair and not Norfair. Because, because of words like salmon. That silent L is what messes me up big time with that. So, yeah. But there's another thing I want to check before going, uh, backtracking uh, all the way to uh, Norfair. Okay, we cannot visit this yet until the very end of the game. <laughs> At least not until cleanup. So, I will see you when uh, we are on the way to uh, Norfair. So now we're back on the way to Norfair and oh, it's Centipede again. And we missed. Be careful with where you, uh, yeah, where you fire. I am very bad at fighting this boss because of its, uh, lack of, uh, personal space. But, I don't know if this is the point where you can defeat. Nope. We're not defeating this centipede just yet. Not for a little uh, while longer. We only got four missile tanks, and there are around uh, 50 of them. So we are barely below, like, I want to say 10% done with the uh, with uh, uh, with missile tanks. And there are going to be some missile tanks that are in places that I'm not a fan of. 
However, goodbye Brinstar. Hello Mother Brain. I see you. Samus Aaron. <laughs> we'll deal with her later. Now, if there's one thing that I just love about Zero Mission, it's soundtrack. Zero Mission's soundtrack is just so good. It is my... It, like, it, it's definitely my favorite of uh, the Metroid series soundtrack uh, when it comes to, uh, like, when it comes to this game. And... And, like, uh, I always look forward to it every time I start a new playthrough of this game. N uh, Norfair especially. Norfair is a really good song. Like, it's just a really good atmospheric piece. You're supposed to wait until you get the power grip to get this. But I'm not doing that. I always get this uh, missile this way. Got it. Nope. Yes, power bombs can damage enemies, but power bombs are more utilitarian, ironically enough. I think the only time they've uh, been useful for an um, offensive standpoint. Uh, and, uh, well, uh, well, in any part of the series would have to be Samus' appearance in Super Smash Brothers. I know there are some, uh, uh, I know, I know I've met some, uh, uh, Samus mains. We'll get to that power-up later. Even, th even though this is one of my favorite games, I still have my issues with it. Now, uh, I can technically, uh, uh, cross this part by just bomb jumping, but I think we should, uh, save some time. We're gonna go up into Criteria. And, uh, as far as I'm aware, this is also a place, uh, where some, uh, this is probably, I wanna say this was an area introduced in Super Metroid? I have not gone, uh, I need to resume playing Super Metroid at some point. The other problem with going this way first. We don't have a gravity suit. We're not going to get a gravity suit for a long time. But, we can get one thing, a missile tank, which means... We have six of the 50 missile tanks. It's a good thing Samus is, uh... Uh, it's a good thing Samus's uh, power suit is, uh... Is, uh, watertight. Otherwise, uh, she'd be in trouble. So we can't exactly go through there just yet. We have to go somewhere else. Actually, no. We have to go through there. I just have to take the higher path. Hold on. I am readjusting my... Uh, my GPS. Ah! It's here. You have to go this way. And... Here we are. Chozo Ruins. Another area that's new to this game. We have a whole lot we can do in uh, this particular part of uh, the area. We see a missile expansion that we can't get yet. However, I think we have one of the best things that this game has for an item fanfare. It's also pretty dumb that we're not going to use it for a while. This is the song that plays when I'm all out of Baja Blast and I didn't drink the last one. However, I think uh, this would be a good time to heal. <clears throat> so of course, now that we got this uh, unknown item, these blocks have started flashing, which means we can do this. 
However, another thing, uh, another thing should be arriving soon, and it should help us with traversing, uh, uh, traversing this area. Here now we are. All we need to do is go up into this uh, Chozo statue's uh, mouth. Oh look, a bridge. It looks convenient and safe. A little too safe. Yep. We're stuck down here. We have no way of getting up and getting out. Oh wait, I just blew a hole in the wall. Which means... We got something to help us. I know this is a point of contention, just, uh, it's for storytelling reasons, but I know a lot of people don't like this. But now, Samus can grab ledges! I guess that means, uh, her power gloves have uh, cleats? Huh. This was not a thing in the original, as far as I'm aware. I have not played through the original fully, but I don't really think I need to. It is a product of, uh, important to, uh, history, but not really necessary to play nowadays. But this is going to help immensely. So, when you grab, Samus will automatically grab a ledge. Holding up will allow Samus to go up said ledge. I want to say Samus' ability to grab ledges. I can't remember if that was introduced in uh, Fusion or Super Metroid, because I've only experienced, uh, like, at least a third of this, uh, like, of the series. I'm overdue for playing more of them, and I will make sure I do that as, uh, I continue these let's plays and such, and uh, I will try to find time to play uh, Samus Returns or a a a AM2R and of course Super Metroid. However, we must go back down into Criteria and guess what we can do? Go into Samus' ship, heal, and we can save in this ship. However, this gunship, while iconic, well, there's going to be a point in time where Samus loses this thing. It's not in this game, but uh, it's not in, like uh, it's not like permanent. Uh, yeah, what I'm trying to say is she doesn't lose it, lose it uh, in this game. Like uh, we'll get to that point, uh, uh, point proper. But there is a game that. Uh, Basically, it's the last appearance of that gunship. Um, yeah, I think I have to head back down anyway. So, yeah, with the power grip in tow, we can now uh, traverse pathways like this. So, the power grip is definitely a... It's definitely a series staple uh, from here on out. Though I don't know how much it is, uh, because... Can Sam... No, I don't think she can grip onto surfaces in, uh, Metroid Prime. Ugh. Again, I'm not a Metroid expert, so... Don't go to me. There are other people that know how to make the... How to make the speed booster, uh, work at, uh, work as well as they can. But now that we have a grip, we can now traverse to the other side of Norfair. Or, uh, I thought I was saying it wrong. It's that R. Like I don't know why uh, the why that R messes me uh, messes with me. I'm sorry if I'm playing a little bit reckless. It's just how I play these games. <laughs> but yeah. Like, we were supposed to come back here and grab 
Hey, Samus. We were supposed to do this, but because it's easy to bomb jump, well, I always grab that thing first. Puppy want upsies. Rem like, puppy want item, puppy want upsies. But now we can go this way, which means we can finally traverse through this room. There is a point uh, where we're supposed to reach uh, after this room. And I'm going to say this uh, right now. Uh, there's an item in this room we cannot get until we have the ice beam. And it requires using an enemy. Now I could bomb jump, sure. Here's the problem. These platforms are, bomb are uh, destructible by bombs. So we can't do that. And this is another area that also needs the speed booster. Again, we'll get to that item later. Like, I... I... know... I... like, I know we're not gonna get the speed booster for a while. Oh, this room. I forgot about this room. This might be a big mistake, uh, doing this room now. I never, I never do that. I never clear that room without problems. Ah, we have the ice beam already. <laughs> Which means I can get that missile expansion already. I never cleared that room without an issue. However, we cannot exit back out because that is a green hatch. So how do we exit out? Well, Samus needs to use her newly found ice beam. And, well, this room definitely looks familiar. I mean, I do, well, I mean, despite how it looks, at least it doesn't trigger my one phobia. I'm not going to talk about the phobia as to not, like, trigger it by mentioning it. But yeah, the Ice Beam is your dedicated platform-making beam. It is also the weakness of the game, of the namesake's, uh, um, uh, mooks, I want to say. But this Chozo statue is telling us to go all the way down to where we found that, uh, where we found that Kraid elevator. It's telling us to go get a power up there. Yep, I know where that is. Now, it is entirely possible to skip a few of these uh, uh, guide Chozo statues and such. It just requires some expert timing. Also, be aware that there will be a point where. Uh, uh, where a power-up that you get uh, might be a little bit troublesome uh, to deal with when you're going for items and I just realized there was an item in that room. I want to go back into that room. I forgot there was an item in this room. Oof. Good news is, is that I have a map, so I need to find no Norfair. Oh. I, it was right above me. There, there we go. I believe that puts our, okay, that's like nine missile packs, nine out of 50. So now we can move ahead. Get out of the way. <laughs> they're like floating, they're like floating buzzy beetles. My vernacular isn't the best, so I might mess up on my words. Ugh. It's definitely the late hours of the night as I'm recording this. <laughs> Going in here. Ah, 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 ah. Correction, we cannot go in there yet. <laughs> so yeah, you see that, see that orange highlight? Well, that's a sign that tells you, yeah, you can't traverse this room because it will burn you to a crisp. Sometimes it just takes me a good bit of uh, finding my uh, finding my placement to uh... okay. 
So now that uh, uh, that we freed that person, we can now get this item. So, and now that we have said item, okay. Is there anything up here, or is this just to show you that that missile is there? I mean, we have like ten of the fifty uh, of the of the fifty uh, missile packs, so. Yeah, there's like a total of 50 missile uh, missile expansions in this game. And like in hard mode, you only get two missiles per expansion instead of the normal five. And I am at death's doorstep, so I need to be careful. And the ice beam is definitely the weakness of these particular enemies right here. Again, I need to be careful because I am almost, well, dead. Let's save here. And, you know what? I think that'd be a good stopping point. So, if you want to donate, there are a couple links in the description below. Any amount helps. If you want to follow this series and any others like it, it's just a simple click at the subscribe button and the bell, and, you, and you'll be on your way. With that said... Uh, we shall be heading uh, to uh, Crade soon, and I shall see you. Well, first of all, I hope you're taking good care of yourself, and I shall see you next mission.